friends and welcome to a shot of code. Today we're going to be looking at gestures in Polymer 3. Um, now these sit on top of your uh, touch events and your mouse events and give us a nice abstraction layer and we don't have to worry about the nitty little um, differences between touch and mouse. Um, so we're going to do this in Polymer 3, uh, not lit element, just a standard Polymer 3. Uh, I've created an app here using the Polymer CLI already. Um, if you've not used Polymer 3 before, uh, worth checking out a previous video that I'll link to here, uh, worth checking it out beforehand. But otherwise, let's jump in here. We've got Visual Studio Code open. So this is um, the standard layout that the Polymer CLI creates for us. Uh, if we try and just start this up uh, with Polymer Serve, and we just need to say we're using npm and module resolution. I'm not sure we need both of those, but to be safe, we'll put them on. Uh, that should start our web server, and we should see down here in localhost 81. Once that starts up. Just taking a second. So what we're going to try and implement um, is a very simple drag and drop, uh, just basically to show how um, how these things work and how what we need to import. Um, so we should see our hello app appear just down there. Okay, hello jest app. So here's our component, the jest two app, and it is just displaying that property down there. Um, which is specified here. Okay, now um, the gestures um, functionality is not included in the main Polymer import. We need to import it ourselves. So if I do import and um, gesture um, events, so just say event. Listener, I think, um, and then we need to find where that is, and it's inside, um, fairly deep down. So let's go into Polymer, um, so at Polymer, and then Polymer, and then into Lib, and then from there we should be able to go into Mixins. And then we can grab gesture event listeners from there. Okay, just make this a bit bigger. Right, now, <coughs> um, it's a mix in, so to include this, we need to add it um, on our extends. So the way to do it is wrap the polymer element with our mix in, like so. And that should give us this functionality. Um, right, I'm going to um, just give this a little bit of styling, and um, so we'll give it an ID. So we we'll say it's item one. Item one there, and then we'll grab um, H2 item one. Here um, and let's say um, we give it a border. So it can be solid and just black is good. Um, now we're going to be moving this one around, so we're going to need to um, give it position absolute, so we can move it. Um, and we'll give it a, a default position just on the screen, like so. Um, right, we don't need the property to dis be displayed there. We just want to say drag me on it, like so. So if I save that off um, and refresh down here, should see 
should see something. We look in the console for an error. Oh yes, I've just got the the name here wrong. I think it's gesture event listeners like so. Let's try that. Save that one off. Refresh. And okay, that looks a bit better. We got our drag me. Um, because it's got text in there, we'll do um, user select none. Uh, that should stop us being able to select that text, which makes the dragging a bit easier. Now, um, there's various events that the gestures allow us to handle. We can have a tap event, um, a track event, um, and a few more, I think, as well. I'll give you a link to the documentation. Uh, for this one, we're going to use the track. Um, so on our ID, we can say on track um, and simply give it our method handle track. Like so. And so if I implement that down here. Uh, it takes a parameter which gives us some good details. Uh, for this first one, let's just console it out. We'll say tracking, just so we can see that um, uh, working straight off there. Let's give it a refresh. Uh, we need this, just make this a bit bigger. We can go and drag. Okay, handle track is not defined. Don't think I want the parentheses there. There we go. Okay, so that's good. We can see our tracking being called here. So as I mouse click on this, I haven't got touch screen on this computer, but if you're on your phone, you'd be able to use your finger and um, drag like so. So as I'm moving the mouse around, we can see it's firing the track events. Now, we can dig into some of the details on this. Um, so if I do switch on um, e dot detail dot state, then we can look at the um, track state. And here we can then do um, start tracking again, but we'll output the location of the, the mouse pointer. So that's e dot detail dot x gives us the current position uh, on x and same with y e dot detail dot y okay i'll get rid of this tracking here don't need that and that should show us a bit more detail now if i refresh here and when we drag now we can see the x and y coordinates in there so that's working quite nice now to be able to move this around um, we've got it position absolute. We also need um, to have it relative to something, and we'll do the parent um, of our element there. So we'll just do position relative, uh, and then we should have a break in there, and then also we can then try and move this. Now in Polymer, you can access. Uh, an element using the dollar sign. So we can say item one, and then we can grab its style, and then its left position, and we can set that to this coordinate we're being provided by the gestures. Um, so we can set it to there. Um, now that will be where you've clicked 
um, and you need to click on it. Um, so just to try and get it into the middle a little better, I'm just going to take 50 off. Um, and then if we add PX as well, uh, and then we do very similar for the top, top, and Y. Okay, give that a save and refresh in here. Okay, so now when I drag it around, it's actually moving. We're still getting that um, console that log showing us the coordinates, but we can drag it around and let it go. Um, and this is going to work nicely um, both for your mouse um, and also when you're using touch as well. So very useful um, mix in there for Polymer 3. Um, so that is a, an initial overview of that. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to try and do one um, using Lit Element, and then I'm going to do another one with um, swiping as well. Um, so I'll try and I'll link those after this video. But I hope that was uh, useful. Um, thanks very much for watching. Bye.